Previously we looked at infrared remote control and today we're going to look at actually remote controlling your Arduino using infrared and also remote controlling other things using infrared. To begin we need to take our decoding example and add some detail to it. We have the receiving infrared LED on A0 we have the notification LED to let us know that we've received some data on pin 13. And I've got a green LED on pin 11. We set up the receiving object and we set up the results object. And then we set the LEDs as output. We start serial, we notify that we're starting the infrared, we start the infrared and then we let us know that we've started it. This is where the extra detail comes in. We're going to look for some known values and if we don't find those known values we'll default to decoding the input so that we can know those values. And this is a feature of C that we've not looked at before. Instead of doing lots of if statements, if and else, we can use switch, which looks for certain values and then has the default. So each if within the switch is, instead of if, it uses case. In the case of this value, do this, and then exit the switch, in the case of this value, do this, then exit the switch. This is a different way of formatting it, so these are easy to go on one line, but this needs to be on several lines. And then the default is, if nothing else is matched, then do that. As you can see, I'm looking for a specific value here, which is the button three on my little remote control that came with my Elego kit. If that is received, then we set the digital output of the green LED to the reverse of whatever it was before. And that's what not the exclamation mark means. It's not what we're getting back. So if it reads high, it gives it the reverse of high, which is low, and sets it, and vice versa. So it's an easy way of switching the LED on and off. As I said, we get some more details if we don't recognize the button. So I've got remote number one, re remote number two. For some reason, I've got them in the reverse order. If we don't recognize what is being input into the infrared LED, then we do show decode. And down here, I've got that. So what we do is we say, we've got a new signal received. We give the hex value. We try to determine what type is, and again, it's a switch. So the default is nothing. And then it goes down and checks all of these and then it outputs how many bits were received because to actually send the signal we need to know how many bits there are and most of my remotes have been coming up as being NEC 32 bits but check yours this is why we've got a decoder sketch so let's see it in operation and it might make more sense. So it's starting. I'll press one on my remote and it detects it as one. Two is detected as two. And three toggles the LED on and off, on and off. So that's the little remote that came with my kit. But I've got an Apple remote here and see that's been detected as well. It seems on some of the remotes to have like a clear signal which is all Fs. 
in then we've got the actual buttons so that's the Apple remote I've got my air conditioning unit So we can decode that. And uh, something that's fun. Got an old Lego kit remote. And that throws out a heck of a lot of data. So I thought to myself, I wonder if we can control the Lego motors. In the next example, we transmit, and as you can see, I've got an uh, infrared LED, which I actually broke out an old remote and snipped it off and put it into my breadboard. And they work just like regular LEDs. I really should have a resistor there. But again, we're using the irremote.h. We set up a send object in this case and we set it in my case to send as NEC there's various functions depending on what manufacturer it's uh, replicating and then here is the code for button 3 and it's 32 bits and that's why we were outputting those in the serial monitor and by googling I found that there was a hex value of 197 for the motors and uh, there's a uh, lego power functions but unfortunately there's not a full list uh, i did find an example somebody referred to a, a codes.h that just didn't exist which is a shame so i did some more googling and found a library that somebody else had created called powerfunctions.h and i'll link that in the documentation you set the pin that your infrared LED is on and then you can set the PWM values for the red channel and blue channel. And so I can make my motors turn by sending them how fast I want them to turn and which, which channel I want to use.